forward now at uh, Pillar 3, Enhancing Collaboration and Team Development, my favorite topic. Uh, convening and coordinating multidisciplinary interest groups. So um, I'd like you to think about team development and enhancing collaboration um, in uh, thinking about these things. Best practices that I've found are um, to think about what works at my institution, some research events, uh, many research events, intentionally, intentionally inviting graduate students to participate, uh, directly inviting um, graduate students and postdocs, also involving research administrators uh, sometimes in some events to become more informed, more familiar with what faculty are doing. Uh, maintaining faculty expertise databases and other collaborative resources, again, and designing those things, thinking about what do we want to know and who wants to know it. Not necessarily what are we given, what do we have, but what do we want to do, um, I think is, is very important in thinking about long term um, how it is that we want to use uh, the tools that we have in facilitating uh, collaborations across disciplines, thinking about where our gaps are, thinking about, um, Martin was saying earlier about different modes of communication, and he, he listed maybe seven or eight different types of communication, customizing those resources to match what it is, how people work, how people best want to receive that communication. Pillar four, proposal development. Um, now, this was my favorite uh, pillar of, of them. Um, so proposal development is often really the cornerstone in a research development program because many of the research development activities that we have discussed so far lead to the developing of a research proposal. So from funding, finding the funding opportunities to developing grantsmanship programs to hosting meet and greets and um, promoting the research on social platforms, all of that work, at the end of the day, a faculty member needs to develop a proposal and, and to be funded. So from a research development perspective, this pillar is really the culmination of all of those activities. Uh, while many of us may already be doing this from our faculty, from a research development perspective, the question is, whether or not this is a proactive, intentional activity in which you're laying the groundwork um, beforehand leading up to the proposal. So again, it goes back to the intentionality behind what we consider to be research development activities. Is this part of a whole strategy? Or are we doing it piecemeal, um, more reactively than proactively? Because um, what we want with, with research development is we want a holistic view. We want to be able to provide all of these um, wonderful activities to help faculty do their proposals better. But we want it to be so that they have this foundation that they can keep coming back to, keep improving on, and that we can keep that momentum going 